This is a fake email that I was sent recently telling me that I'm owed settlement money and to access my portal to claim it. This has to do with a company called BlockFi, one of the many companies that had a major crash out when FTX went under. And the scammer assumes that not only did I have money in BlockFi, but I'm stupid enough to click the link. Well, for the sake of this video, one of these things is true. So I went to the link here in the email and it almost immediately redirects me to this domain. It's pretty typical to get redirected like this because it hides the real phishing domain from scanners and lets attackers track which email or which link each victim uses. So one of the first things I always do is try to find common paths like slash admin or slash login. And we can see that these guys are doing a bit of trolling. Even their robots.txt file is just this hello world page. This isn't only to be funny, but it helps them against researchers using automated tools like GoBuster by showing that there are all these directories when there actually aren't. So basically how this site works is that it tells you to put in your email and then it tells you to request a wallet. And then it tells you to import your wallet using your seed phrase or your secret phrase. So this is the reason why it's so dangerous. Your seed phrase is basically your master key to your wallet. And anyone who has it will be able to access your crypto unconditionally. No legit service will ever ask you for anything other than a wallet address to link your wallet. So don't give your seed phrase to anybody. All right, so I'm gonna type in something random here. I already see that there are a lot of words that it accepts and words that it doesn't accept. That's because most seed phrases follow a standard called BIP39, and there's a set word list that BIP39 uses. I wonder how it's verifying these, though. All right, I'm going to refresh the console, open the page sources, and control F for word list to see if there is anything. All right, so we have the function load word list and a source of modal slash word .json. I'm going to reload the page and see if it loads in. There you are. So now I can essentially use this to type whatever I want. Now I'm going to go to the console tab and just see what it does when I enter random junk. Okay, so already before I press submit, I get this response saying invalid. And then when I do press submit, I get this error notice. Something on the back end is verifying this. On the network tab, we can see the request I sent along with all the form data. We might need this in a minute, but for right now, I'm going to generate a random seed phrase that I'll never use again, and I'll see if that works. All right, looks like that one worked. Next, it asked me for a passphrase, so I'll just put in something that looks like a password along with a burner email because I do want to get more scam emails to make videos about. And yeah, we can see all of this is being sent to their backend. So basically from here, it just stays on this infinite loading screen. We can see it says processing request, but in the actual console, there's nothing that states it's waiting for a response. And we can see in clear text that we just sent them all of our credentials. This is pretty similar to the evil Wi-Fi portal I took down on my flipper and the way that it's only there to get your creds. After you put them in, there's no indication that something was supposed to happen. You're just kind of sitting there. I did get curious and I did use Python to make my own request and send it to their server, but the scammer's firewall was prepared for that. So the most I can really do is report these guys. And if you ever come across a scam site, report them as well and just spread awareness of the kind of scam that you saw. If you did put your seed phrase into one of these, there's unfortunately not a lot you can do other than try to get your money out as soon as possible before the scammers know they have your creds. But yeah, this is basically how phishing works. If you want to see more videos like like this feel free to subscribe if you have any stories about scams you were a victim of or have any advice for other victims leave a comment down below to spread some awareness and i will catch you guys in the next one